Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Kenya was a country that was progressing. And that progress was evidently clear because in terms of school fees, the government was paying, it was subsidized. Now, the good progress was that, of course, yes, earlier, primary school subsidized, several school subsidized, but now we had came, we, we had came to Tibet, something that was introduced there from 2018 coming forward. Now, this is a kind of a college which was started in Uhuru Kenyatta's regime and they were targeting for technical trainings so that we can keep this country to a level where India is. We can have proper technician engineers who can now run economy so that now they can fit in the market in this country and outside the country. See, to Kenya, we can have a job in India, we can have a job in Kenya, we can have a engineer in Mwindi. Taka technology ni mkubwa pale ni muhindi. Supervisor ni muhindi. Wakenya wanapata kazi za chini kwa sababu they were not well equipped in that line of technical trainings to handle such um, kind of a job in the market. Because of that, the government came with the Tibet. And the Tibet, when they came to existing, the school fees was set somewhere to close to 56,420. Now, listen to this. The government was paying 30,000 per student. Then they were also getting 10,000 maybe to help in a Mambo Kama, a Labda, Mahalipa Kuish, and other things. Just like to have also pocket money. So, out of this money, you find that many students join Tibet schools with a little amount of money. Even 5,000 you go and join. There is one in my village, I talk about what I know. Ukuna moja hapa vihiga is called the Sabatia Technical Training Institute. It is in my village, Pale Lotego. So I know what I'm talking. Many children after high school joined without even money. Others with a little amount, they joined. So the problem has been going on. Now, the bombshell has come with a man who said it's the hustler. A man who said that is coming to serve the poor, the needy, mamamboga, boda boda. I'm telling you, we are lost. We have been taken 200 miles, 200,000 miles back into the time when Kenya was still, you know, trying to start developing there. We had reached a good place where by now education was supposed to be free, totally up to university level. If Uhuru was the president or someone who had the same ideas like Raila Odinga who has thought of education should just be free, then Kenya will be another London here. Say so that every child of this country can enjoy good education paid by the taxpayer's money. Today, we have a president who is focusing on amassing more, power, more money to satisfy their appetite for having this money in their own pocket. While he was rewarding 50 CASs, he has now reduced that capitation. Today, out of 145,325 students who are selected to join Tibet in the year 2023-2024, Academic, only 42,144 will benefit from the government sponsored program. Before it was for everyone. At his year, 42,000 only. Out of what? 145, not even half. The rest, according to Ruto, 42,000 are the only needy students. The rest can afford. I mean, really? I'm telling you, even what they are capitating here for 5,000 is a figure they have just come out with depending on the budget they want to come up with. Not because they have selected these people, they know these are the only need. No. That's the budget they have set. So they will be working toward that budget. Because before you spend 
in a matter to do with accounts, first of all, you, you put your budget forward. Then from there, you work towards getting the money. So their budget to Tibet has been slashed to this amount. I'm telling you, it will end up even helping only those who have connections. Those who have connections are not poor, are not needy. Out of the 100% needy, 30 will be sponsored. 70 will be only those who have connections. Up to here, mtoto wa maskini, hana laki. You might think that I'm just giving me a statement. Let me take you back to this one so that you can see. If you Google, you can see Tibet Free in Kenya. This means those headed to Tibet Institute will access higher education at absolute free cost. The school's fees is in Tibet Institute currently stand at 56,420 is how it will work. The program will provide 30,000 capitation for each Tibet student. That's February 2019. Look at that. And even this information was shared in the thing, the star. That time it was uh, Amina Mohammed who was the uh, CS for education. So they in college to study for free, instead to pay tuition. This is how it will work. The government will provide 30,000 capitation for each Tibet training. The learner in technical and vocation institution will receive um, uh, as much as 40,000 loan annually from help, enough to pay all your fee and then have some extra coin to cut up for their upkeep. The move will see students with a grade as low as D and E join tertiary institution, government partly paying their fees, and just like their university con counterpart, they will access loan to cater for their remaining fees. Ministry of Education estimate this to cost about 20 billion uh, seekings to put an end to discrimination in a transition to higher education. This was a good move. It was to put Kenya in a better place so that Kenyan citizens can fit in the current international market. Ukienda uko India. Utapata mtu mnyama anguka mtiani kama alikuwa na kwa high school. They will go for this. Mtu anaenda kwa anasomea mambo ya AC air condition. Peke yake tu yondo line yake ya kazi. Then you will find these people somewhere maybe in the gulf there. Hizo ndo kazi wa metarget. Hakuna kitu yagina anajua, anajua tu AC peke yake. Go and check on how they are being paid. So, hapa Kenya tunasema mtu wa university ndia, ndia, ndia sasa apata hizo courses and even they don't offer. In university it is more of uh, sana sana wana, oh, they, 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 it is more of uh, mamba ya nini they focus on uh, they never in Kenya here they don't they never uh, focus largely on practicals but some jobs who need a lot of practicals not theory so you'll find that because of much focus on the theory the team that was coming in to bridge that gap and bring in that practical and technicality so that we can have a dressers people and well equipped because the government was looking here was checking in this issue that Kenya cannot offer jobs to everyone but if you keep people well with better education they can get jobs elsewhere and some people can come up with them, their own uh, self-employment they can fit in the market and definitely we will be on and on the map and online with the growing industrialization. Sasa huyu jamaa amekuja anatoa hiyo mambo. Mwanza kulipa school fees. Inamaanisha many people cannot access that education and if we had such vision the person who is going to kill that vision is none other than William Samuel Ruto. Imagine his budget that was supposed to run for one year is being used in six months' time. And then you slash the money that was supposed to go to Tibet schools. So, pesa yunya Tibet, haki ya mungu, inaenda state house. Ile yunya, huru alikuwa natumia maka mmoja, huru alikuwa natumia mezi sita. Anadisha budget ingine. 
So pesa yenu imekatwa imeenda state house. Pesa ya kupeleka watoto wetu shuli, eh, kwa kwa TVET schools imekatwa inataka kulipa 50 administrative secretaries. Huna alikuwa nao 22. Huta ameongeza wengine wamefika 50. Sasa hiyo pesa mkiuliza iko wapi? Inaenda kulipa hawa jamaa ndio waende na wakoe wanapanda eh, helicopters, wakoe wana enjoy life huko nje na ni watu watuhitaji ya malipopote. Hapo ndio hii pesa imeenda. Ukiuliza hii pesa imeenda wapi? Imeenda kwa corruption. Ile pesa mmeona wakurudisha gashago 200 million akina eh, so many people have these cases wanaisha pesa zao cases zimeisha hiyo pesa yenye ilikuwa isaidie TV yenye ile alikuwa anasema atakatisha mambo ya uh, corruption to cut for this education imeenda hapo There are so many things I can tell you this is absurd We are in a sad situation Kenya is now in darkness we are lost We have a big problem I don't know your views but among I am among the sad Kenyans We were heading to right direction but someone is stopping a Kenyan dream. What should we do? We must speak our voice. Mass action must have been the only way to put this government on the right path.